Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Benjamin, and today we're diving into the elbow, an area of the body that can be deceptively tricky for therapists to treat. One, tennis elbow got its name because a famous tennis player got tennis elbow, and they named it tennis elbow. But most people get tennis elbow by doing the dishes, or vacuuming, or cooking, and holding a heavy frying pan. It's a very common injury, and it's only called tennis elbow because some famous person got it. Two, it takes about two weeks for tennis elbow to show up. It gradually, the tears gradually happen, gradually happen, and it takes a week or two to have it show up. Three, it has a very unusual tear pattern. It tears in a V. So as it starts, it's just a little bit torn. You don't really feel it, and it has to get open, way open for you to feel the pain. And therefore, it's a little tricky to treat. So four, it can take one to two years for it to heal without treatment because of this funny pattern and it has to heal in an unusual way. Five, it can be injured in five different places. One, it can be the attachment to the bone. That's at the tenoperiosteal junction. That's the most common place. So the tendon is right attached to the bone skin. Second, it can be in the tendon body. That's the next part of the tendon proper after its attachment. Three, in the musculotendinous junction, that's where the tendon transitions into the muscle. Then it could be in the muscle itself, a little bit higher up. And five, it can be in the extensor coffee radialis longus, which is a separate muscle that's really close to it, and that attaches on the supracondylar ridge of the humerus, which is that ridge place that you feel the outside of your, your arm. Six, you have to test it. And the way you test for a tennis elbow is really simple. You put the arm out just like that, you like a traffic cop, you hold it and you tell the person to hold it and you try to pull it down. And when they have tennis elbow, it'll go boom, like that. It'll go very quickly because it's pretty painful and they'll let go. Seven, you have to treat it in the right place. So you're gonna palpate all those different places once you've established that's what it is you're going to touch the tenium periosteal junction, the tendon, etc. And of course, you have to know how to do that really well in order to find it. And if you're interested in learning how to assess and treat the elbow or all of the other injuries in the body, we have 10 full modules that take you through every major injury in the body. And if you'd like to join us in Anatomy in Action, you can get a subscription by clicking on the link below in the description.